volcanic eruptions, one of the deadliest forces on Earth. Volcanoes have been a threat to humanity for thousands of years. Because when it erupts, the sky goes black, the ground melts, and when it explodes, it does so with the power to reshape continents and erase civilizations. In 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted with a blast so powerful, it released energy equivalent to 24 megatons of TNT. That's over 1,600 times the power of Fat Man, the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki. And yet, even that is nothing compared to what you're about to see. Because in this video, we're going to uncover the true scale of volcanic eruptions, from daily lava flows to ancient blasts that nearly wiped out humanity. Eruptions so big, they make nuclear weapons look like firecrackers. Before we talk about scale, we need to understand what a volcano actually is. A volcano isn't just a mountain, it's a pressure valve for the planet, a gateway between the surface of the Earth and the fire beneath it. Deep below, molten rock called magma builds up inside chambers heated by the Earth's core. When the pressure becomes too much, the crust cracks open and it explodes with unimaginable violence, hurling ash, gas and rock into the stratosphere. These explosions are not random, they follow patterns, they can be measured, and that's where we enter the true scale. We measure volcanoes with something called the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. The VAI is logarithmic, which means every jump in number is 10 times more powerful than the last. Let's break that down. The scale consists of nine levels, from VEI 0 to VEI 8. But for simplicity, we can group them into three main categories. VEI 0 to 3. These are the common eruptions. You'll see them every few days or weeks somewhere on Earth. They include bubbling lava from Hawaii or moderate explosions like Stromboli and Mount Etna. Still dangerous, but relatively localized. VEI 4 to 6. Now we're talking about major historical events. These eruptions are powerful enough to destroy cities, trigger tsunamis, or alter the weather. This is where you'll find Mount Vesuvius, Krakatoa, and Mount Pinatubo. They occur roughly once every few decades to a century. VEI 7 and 8. These are the supervolcanoes, the kind that change the planet. We will start with the small ones and go all the way up to the giants comparing them to the modern nuclear power. This is Kilauea, one of the most active volcanoes on Earth, an ongoing eruption that's been shaping Hawaii for centuries, one lava stream at a time. Kilauea belongs to the lowest category on the VEI scale, VEI zero. But don't let that number fool you, because in 2018, this gentle volcano released enough energy to match nearly two million tons of TNT that's the equivalent of over 100 Hiroshima bombs, not in a single violent blast, but in months of slow, unstoppable destruction. Next is Stromboli, a volcano that never really sleeps. It sits quietly in the Mediterranean Sea, yet erupts every few minutes, like clockwork. Known as the lighthouse of the Mediterranean, Stromboli has been active for over 2,000 years. Its explosions are small, brief, and repetitive. This is a VEI-1 eruption, gentle by volcanic standards. But gentle doesn't mean weak. Each year, Stromboli unleashes energy roughly equal to 150,000 tons of TNT. That's 0.15 megatons, or 10 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. And it does this without ever making headlines. Now we move on to VEI-2. This is Mount Etna. Towering over the island of Sicily, it's one of the most iconic and restless volcanoes in the world. Etna has been erupting for over half a million years, and it's still going strong, explosive, but not catastrophic. Its eruptions are frequent, forceful, and highly visible, but rarely apocalyptic. Yet even this mid-sized volcano has released staggering amounts of energy over the years. In a typical explosive eruption, Etna can unleash up to 1 million tons of TNT. That's one megaton, or 66 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. And it is surrounded by cities, villages, and millions of people who live under its shadow. 
Now we move on to a volcano you probably remember, not for its death toll, but for the chaos it caused around the world. This is Eyjafjalla Jökull, a glacier-covered volcano in Iceland that erupted in 2010. It wasn't massive. In fact, it was only a VAI-4 on the scale. But what made it unforgettable wasn't the size of the blast. It was the ash. The eruption launched a thick plume of volcanic ash straight into the jet stream, disrupting flight routes across Europe for over a week. More than 100,000 flights were cancelled, millions of passengers stranded, and the global airline industry lost an estimated $1.7 billion. And the energy behind it? Eyjafjalla Jökull released around 30 million tons of TNT, or 30 megatons. That's the power of 2,000 Hiroshima bombs for an eruption that didn't kill, but still managed to ground a continent. Now we enter the realm of true devastation, where eruptions no longer just disrupt, they obliterate. This is Mount St. Helens, a sleeping giant in Washington state, until May 18, 1980. That morning, the mountain didn't just erupt, it collapsed. The entire north face of the volcano slid away in the largest landslide ever recorded. What followed was an explosion so powerful, it flattened 600 square kilometers of forest in seconds. Ash rose 24 kilometers into the sky. Everything in its path vaporized. This was a VEI-5 eruption. And in terms of energy, it released the equivalent of 24 million tons of TNT or 24 megatons. That's 1,600 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Mount St. Helens didn't just destroy land, it reshaped it. The eruption carved a massive crater, turned forests to wastelands, and reminded the world that even in a developed country, we are never truly in control. This was just VEI-5, and it's about to get far, far worse. Now we reach a moment in history where the Earth screamed. This is Krakatoa, an island volcano in Indonesia that in 1883 unleashed one of the most violent explosions humanity has ever witnessed. The eruption began quietly, but by the time it peaked, Krakatoa tore itself apart. The blast was so powerful, it was heard over 3,000 kilometers away from Australia to the island of Rodriguez near Africa. It was the loudest sound in recorded history. Tsunamis over 40 meters high swept across coastlines, killing over 36,000 people. Some estimates go much higher. The shockwave circled the planet seven times. This wasn't just a volcanic eruption. It was a global event. The explosion released around 200 million tons of TNT, or 200 megatons. That's more than 13,000 bomber dropped on Hiroshima in a single, unimaginable moment. Ash from the eruption turned skies blood red. Global temperatures dropped by more than a degree. Sunsets turned surreal. And for years, the planet remembered what Krakatoa had done. Now we reach a volcano so powerful, it changed the planet's climate. Not for days, not for months, but for years. This is Mount Tambora. In 1815, on the island of Sumbawa in Indonesia, Tambora erupted with a force unlike anything witnessed in modern history. The explosion was so immense, it reduced the mountain's height by over 1,500 meters. It ejected 160 cubic kilometers of ash into the atmosphere, and it darkened the sky across the globe. This was a VEI-7 eruption, classified as super colossal. But the aftermath was even more terrifying. Tambora's ash and sulfur dioxide reflected sunlight, plunging the world into what became known as the year without a summer. Across Europe, North America and Asia, crops failed. Famine spread, diseases followed. Over 90,000 people died in Southeast Asia alone. But the global toll was in the millions through starvation and collapse. Tambora released an estimated 33 billion tons of TNT. That's 33,000 megatons, or 2.2 million times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. A volcanic winter caused by one eruption. This was not just a disaster. It was a planetary reset. 
But even Tambora was not the peak of Earth's fury. One eruption in deep time makes even this look small. This is Toba. 74,000 years ago, in what is now northern Sumatra, a supervolcano erupted with a force that defies imagination. The Toba super eruption ejected over 2,800 cubic kilometers of volcanic material. That's enough to bury the entire state of California under 30 feet of ash. The skies darkened across the globe. Temperatures plummeted by as much as five degrees Celsius. Entire ecosystems collapsed. And according to some theories, the human population dropped to just a few thousand on the brink of extinction. This was not just an eruption. It was an existential event. Toba released over 200 billion tons of TNT. That's 200,000 megatons, or nearly 13 million Hiroshima bombs. One blast, with the power to alter evolution itself. We've never seen anything like it in recorded history. But geologists believe it will happen again. Right now, beneath our feet, supervolcanoes like Yellowstone, Campi Flegre, and Tal are simmering quietly. They could erupt in a thousand years, or tomorrow. And when they do, it won't just be a local disaster. It will be global. Volcanoes are not relics of the past. They are living systems. A reminder that we live on a planet that is very much alive. Because Earth doesn't need an asteroid to reset itself. It has something far more powerful, its own heart. This was the true scale of volcanic eruptions. <laughs>